The first thing you need to do is set up a zebra liquid component. To do this, add a zebra liquid object to the level. The yellow container is a volume of liquid simulation. You can change the container size. Our simulation works best on a small to medium scale. When you create a container, you already have one emitter included inside the liquid component. If you want, you can add more emitter components and choose volume per sim for each one. This parameter increases the number of particles emitter generates. To make emitters available in liquid simulation, add them to a manipulator's list inside a zebra liquid component. You can do it manually or use the Add All Manipulators button. Now add the void component. The void removes all the liquid that comes inside the container. You can use the Add All Manipulators button inside the Zebra Liquid Components setting to activate your void. Start simulating the game and check out how it works. To set up a collision between the liquid and a complex object, add the Neural Collider component inside an object. Press the Generate Representation button to create a collider. To create a collision with a simple object, you can use analytic colliders. There are several types of analytic colliders available. Sphere, box, capsule, torus, and cylinder. Choose the one you need, and set it to transform the parameters. For colliders to work in the zebra liquid component, add them to the list of colliders. You can do it manually using the SDF colliders tab inside zebra liquid. Or you can use the add all colliders button to add all colliders in the level at once. Now that you have made your liquid collide with objects, you can also set up force interaction. To do this, select the Zebra Collider components and enable the Force Interaction setting. Don't forget to configure the Object Simulation Physics and Mass options. You can also configure the Initial Velocity option of the emitter to set the liquid stream direction and force. Start the simulation and check out how it works.